When I ask if the horse has vices, what I really mean is, does the horse have vices? Hi fellow equestrians, I'm Noel Michael Cruz and I'm here to make your life just a bit better. So here we go. Don't mind me, I'm looking a little bit rough right now with the hair and all the sweat and all that. I smell like horse. Not a bad thing, right? Uh, I just got off a youngster, I just tried him out. And if you've been following me on Twitter and Instagram, which you should be, you'll know that I've been looking for a youngster for quite a while now. And I think I found one, which is yay, because it's been a really exhausting long haul here. And I know most people are like four months isn't long, but you know what, when you're used to riding six days a week and you've been off for four months, guess what? It's long. But in those four months, I have come across some very entertaining people, some a lot of good people, and some... I saw some really nice horses. I saw some mm, horses. And you know what the funny thing is, most of the horses that I saw which were like, eh, uh, they want huge price takes for them. For a horse that really hasn't done anything, and the best part was to lie to me right when I asked them about the ad. And that's the funny part. Because here's the thing about horse people. Uh, just a quick suggestion. When I do ask, you know, all, all my messages, whether I send it on Facebook or email, whatever I'm sending, if I send you a message saying, oh, I like your horse, interested, does the horse have any vices, you know, is he good for the farrier, does he clip, whatever the thing may be, just tell the truth. Because here I go, when I ask, does the horse have vices? What I really mean is, does the horse have vices? I really honestly mean that. So I went a few months ago <laughs> to a, I saw this mare online. I'm not a huge fan of mares, but there have been amazing mares in my past I have ridden. So I'm always open. I wanted a gelding, but if a mare comes into my life, you know what? I'm going to jump on it, literally. But this girl has this mare online, all right? She is seven years old, which is a bit older than I want, but you know what, once again, Eh, uh, one of two things I'm looking for in a horse. Either I want to take this horse up the ranks or I want to turn into a flip horse. Whichever one, I need to get back in that saddle, ASAP. I find this mare, seven years old, it's been out showing, whatever. Is a hunter, but they say it's good for dressage. If you can't jump, you know what they mean. Okay, so let's go check this thing out. So the first things I ask the lady are, you know, vices. Uh, it trailers well, you know, does it clip? It, it doesn't have to hit all these. It really doesn't. Like, is it good for the fairy or whatever? You know, B, who is my for previous horse, uh, he was not good for the fairy or he liked to, you know, jerk his leg a lot. But I'm not looking for, it needs to hit every single mark of these. Let's, I just would like to know what I'm kind of getting into when I make this three to four hour long drive. She says, no, no, the horse is good for A, B, and C. It's pristine. Like, this horse does everything. Okay, well, let's get in the car, We each, I drive. We got there, everything's supposed to be great. Into the barn, you say hi, 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 and they go, oh, this is the horse. And you turn, before you can say, oh, really? Before you can say that, you go, oh, <laughs> This horse is weaving to beat the band. I'm not talking like, mm, mm, I'm talking woohoo, let, let's make a wave. In my head, I'm going, really, is this really the horse? Because this is not this pristine, perfect horse that you're talking about online. And you know, you get the, the typical lingo from the, Oh, she's never done this before. Yeah, right. But you know what? I'll turn a blind eye because you know what? If you're really good under saddle, maybe I can deal with it. Maybe the odds are in this person's favor and maybe this horse has never done this before. Wow, I really am trying to make this happen. She's pretty much digging a hole through the mats, but whatever. So she tags up the horse and we go to the prima. I have my stuff on, but I'm not going to ride until I see this person ride. So I'm told that this mare is perfect to mount. She goes to the mounting block, puts one foot in the stirrup, and before she can even swing her leg over the saddle, horse spins and bolts down the end of the arena. Great. So let's tally up what this horse has going against her. She is a mare. She's seven years old. She is not really in the discipline I want her to go. You're weaving. Cold bag. All right, so you got five things going against you. This is going well. I don't think we're doing this, but I felt really bad for the girl because she who just got on and just got bolted down the ring, I feel like just to walk away now would be like a big middle finger to everybody say, well, screw you, even though they kind of did the same thing to me. So I let her go. Strike number six, you have a terrible walk. Sorry, Mayor, you yeah, don't have a good walk. And for dressage, I need a good walk and canter. Actually, I really like a good walk, trot, and canter, but if you don't have a good trot, I can make that work. But a good walk and a canter is a must. Okay, so we're at six. Okay, let's trot. Are you sound? Seven strikes up against her. She picks up the canter, which strike number eight 
is a run-on, fall on the forehand, run into it. And she comes by me and the tongue is hanging out. It's just waving in the wind. Yeah, that's something I definitely can't work with. No, we're done. Thank you, I really do appreciate that for your time and all that, but you know what? Nice horse, but you know, just not for me. You walk along, you get into your car, you put that gas on and you fly out that driveway because no, 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 no. Nolan might be desperate, but he's not that desperate. So I still do my search. I think we have found a horse right now and I will do the big reveal soon, don't worry. But what I am trying to say here is to those who are trying to sell a horse, do everybody a big favor, inclusive of yourself, as well as the people who are looking at your ad. Just tell the truth. When somebody asks, does a horse clip? If the horse does clip, don't say it clips. If the horse doesn't do well with the farrier, don't say, yeah, it's perfect for the farrier. If the horse has vices, say it has vice A, B, and C. Here's the thing. Most people are going to think that, uh, well, if I tell them the vice, that just shoots them down. If they drive all the way there, you might have a chance on it. Chances are no. You have just pissed off everybody. You see, the sad thing is, is that it not only did she piss me off, uh, waste my time and my gas. I mean, I'm cheap with gas, so. She also made herself just look like an ass. If I see her at up again, and I, you know, my friends are always looking for horses, she will not be one that I recommend. So if you're selling a horse, just say, this is what the horse is. Chances are you will still get people coming to see your horse, and they'll be very appreciative of the fact if they can see past the problems the horse has, which please note, horse, all horses have problems. There's not one perfect horse in that world. And I'll talk about that in a different video. You know what, you can still get those people to come out. And if they know about the problems before they come out and they're still willing to come out, you have some good people on your hands. If you're asked, does the horse have vices? What we really want to know is, does the horse really have vices? So that's story of the week, guys. If you have a story, you got a comment, whatever, post down below in the comments. And if you still haven't done it, there's Twitter, there's my Instagram. Go for it, let's connect, let's hook up. If you follow me on Twitter, I will follow you back for horse accounts. And while we're at it, we're gonna hit that like button, hit that share button, and while you're at that, hit that subscribe button too. I'm Nolan Michael Cruz, and I will talk to you later. Ciao.